All right, so this is the finished product that I'm gonna do a walkthrough. Um, it is just a gorgeous paper from Graphic 45 this year. It's called Midnight Tales. It's their Halloween 2021 collection. Um, so what I've made here is a eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter folio, three quarters of an inch wide. This will hold a ton of pictures um, and also leave space to see the beautiful paper still kind of highlighted in the design. So this is the front cover, um, very simple. I just took one of the pieces of paper from the collection kit and then fussy cut the second piece and popped up elements to give it some dimension. So hopefully you can see that, but I like the way that turned out and gives the cover some interest. Um, then on the sides and back, I just covered it with this pattern here. So this opens up, it is a tri-fold. I'm not sure if I can get the whole thing in the camera, almost. But let's go through the left side first and uh, we'll just go piece by piece. So on the left here, I have um, two brads and some string holding this section closed. So this just opens up. And I like the in little interactive bits. So these just open up and then I've got room for pictures and journaling here. So wherever you see that I've left blank, um, I'm intending to put photos there. So I will mat them. Once I get the photos, I'll decide whether I want to map in a different color or not. But I don't, dec I don't normally put patterned paper on there. And just to show you, um, there's lots of room for photos in here as well, different placements and things that you can do. So that's the left side. Um, then in the center, we have this section that just opens up. So it's held down by this card and then it opens up and into its own trifold. And this is, I call the waterfall section. So in the center here, I've got a little pocket in the bottom. And this card really is here to hold down this waterfall so that it's not all flopping around when I open the book up. So we take that out and then we have here four by six vertical waterfall. Again, leaving this side blank for photos there's room for journaling and um, lots of space for pictures here so that is the center waterfall then on the sides i have these two pieces um, on the right side so they're both held down kind of the same way with just tuck a tuck under on a little um, piece of embellishment these are stickers from the collection kit and when you open these up we have another waterfall inside so this is a three by four waterfall and then I've got the same thing over here on the other side. This one's just a little bit wider, so just a slightly different design and lots of space here. Okay, so then we can close this section back up and we'll move on to the right-hand side of the album, which is just a couple of pockets. So there's a pocket here and you can, um, there's more room for more. So I just have two cards in here for now. So just a little pull tab with the sticker. And then this I just made into a little booklet. So again, lots of space for photos. We'll tuck those back in here. And then finally, we just have this pocket at the top. So another card in here that opens up with lots of space for photos. And you can fit a few more in here as well. So I just have one. But um, if you like to put a bunch of them, then you can use different colored ribbons. And that looks really pretty when the album's all closed up. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, please hit like and subscribe. Um, I love doing this content and I continue to do it for free. Um, and it just gives me great pleasure. The hugest compliment if you is if you subscribe to my channel. So thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it and happy Halloween.